Hello friends, uh, in the series of our engineering curves uh, video lectures, this is the fourth lecture which is on involute of a circle. How to draw involute of a circle with the help of graphical method. Earlier when we have seen about the conic sections as well as uh, cycloids, a plane cycloids. Uh, in this case, we will see how to draw an involute of a circle. We can have the involute of a polygon like rectangle, triangle, pentagon, hexagon. But we will not go into the details of all these kinds of curves. We will only restrict ourselves to involute of a circle. Now, in this case, we can have again three different cases. Whenever the... Now, what do you mean by involute first of all? Involute is nothing but a curve generated by an end of a piece of a thread whenever that particular thread is unbounded from a rounded object or from a circle uh, whenever you are going to un un unbound it then in that case whatever the path which is traced away by the end point of uh, end end point of all one end of that particular uh, thread uh, which will be nothing but uh, the involute of a circle here the circle is used for winding that particular thread or string you can say therefore it will be known it is it is known as involute of a circle if it is a triangle it is involute of a triangle if it is a uh, square it is involute of a square, a square like that one so uh, the procedure is very simple as far as involute of a circle is considered one procedure is very simple see uh, this is the first case in which uh, there are three cases actually. The first case is in which the length of the string is equal to the circumference of the circle. This is the first case. The second case is length of the string will be more than the circumference of the circle. And in the third case, length of the string will be less than the circumference of the circle. We will see all these three cases in very proper manner with the help of different examples. Now here you will consider the example, draw involute of a circle for uh, a circle having the diameter which is uh, equal to 50 millimeters. Suppose here it is not given in the problem itself, but it is equal to suppose again 50 millimeter. Likewise, we whatever we have considered in case of cycloid, string length is equal to the circumference of the circle. So in this case, the cycloid... Uh, in this case, the circumference of the circle will be equal to again 157 millimeter uh, and the string length is also equal to the similar one. Now, how to go for drawing this particular curve? Very simple again procedure. Here, what you need to go first of all is that only important thing is not the, the circle diameter and the string length. If it is given, you have to as uh, you have to use it. If it is not given, it is equal to by default circumference of the circle. So first of all, draw a circle of given diameter. In this case, it is equal to suppose 50 millimeter diameter. Now after drawing this circle into 50 millimeter of 50 millimeter diameter, again divide this into similar manner in which way we have divided into in, in, in case of cycloid from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 number of uh, divisible points you can divide this into 12 equal number of parts also no doubt about it but here it has been divided into eight equal number of parts try to number it one two three four five six seven eight at point eight you can draw a tangent line you can draw a tangent line which is equal to pi d that is circumference of the circle because that is the length of the string now here in this case it is equal to 157 millimeter now in which number you have divided the circle and this similar number you need to divide this particular pi d length that is 157 millimeter length in this case and into eight equal number of parts now this is again in the similar way in which way we have done in case of cycloid that drawing a line at an angle of 45 degree draw, having the marking of points with the help of your divider eight number of points at equal distances joining last point of this one to the last point of this particular uh, tangent line and drawing the parallel lines through all the other points so that from 7 to this 7 we will get from 6 to this 6 5 4 3 2 1 like this one so that we will get this all this divisible points of tangent line which is nothing but the string length of that particular uh, whatever 
uh, which we wanted to bound it around this particular uh, curve. Now in this case, if you see, uh, after dividing this into equal number of parts, whenever you have divided this circle into equal number of parts, you need to draw the tangents at every point, at one. So this is suppose C is the center of the circle. So C1 is the radius. Draw a perpendicular to this C1. It will be automatically tangent at one. Draw a perpendicular to C2 at two. It will be automatically tangent at two. Draw a perpendicular at three. Uh, to C3, it will be automatically tangent at 3. Draw a perpendicular to 4, uh, C4 at 4, it will be automatically tangent at 4. In the similar way, draw a tangent at 5, draw a tangent at 6, draw a tangent at 7, and at, uh, already this is the tangent line at 8. So, in this way, you have to draw this particular all tangent lines. Now, here, very interesting thing. Here, whatever this pi d length is there, final point we are naming, though it is 8th point, but still for our convenience, we are giving another name into it, that is p point, so that we can transfer the distances either with the help of uh, uh, divider or with the help of uh, compass also, you are going to draw that. Now, take distance equal to in your compass. Uh, here, this is the total length from this 8 to 8. Or you can say from this A point to P point. Okay. Now, after this one, take distance in your compass equal to, I mean, after drawing all these tangents from 1 to 8, from 1 to 7 actually, then take distance equal to, uh, in your compass equal to 1 to P. You are center of the, means you have to keep your uh, center will be 1 and mark on this particular tangent line. So, with the help of which distance, 1 to P, you will get P1 point. And take distance equal to 2p, center will be 2, mark on this tangent 2p, then distance will be 3p, mark on this tangent number 3, passing through 3, take distance equal to 4p, mark on tangent, uh, pass, uh, tangent which is passing through 4, you will get p4 point. In this way, you can take distance equal to 5p, mark on this 5 tangent, tangent at 5, but take distance equal to 6p, mark on tangent at 6. Take distance equal to 7p, mark on tangent at 7. In this, in this way, you will get the point p1, p2, p3, p4, p5, p6, p7. And automatically, this is the last point, which is nothing but that is p8 point, or you can say that is a point. Join all these points from p to this p8 with the help of a free hand, and then try to make it fair with the help of a French curve. This is your involute of a circle having strain length equal to circumference of a circle and most probably up till now same kind of examples were asked in the Savitri by Fule Bono University end semester as well as any semester examinations. So try to make it very clear that this is a very important uh, example from your examination point of view. Now we will go for next case that is nothing but the second case which is known as if the string length is more than the circumference of the circle. Now here what will happen the, if suppose this is equal to again the diameter of the circle is equal to 50 millimeter then this pi d will be equal to uh, uh, whatever 157 millimeter in this case but the length of this particular string is 165 millimeter which is more than pi d. So what to do in this case? A very simple thing here is that draw again a circle in the similar manner, divide it into eight equal number of parts, draw a tangent line, mark on it uh, circumference of the circle uh, which is up to uh, eight point that is uh, that is the uh, circumference of the circle uh, a string length equal to that but our string length is more here so it should be marked beyond that one up to point p which is nothing but here in this case it is 165 millimeter but don't forget you have to divide this pi d into only into equal number of parts now here you have divided this into eight equal number of parts then again you have to divide this here from a here it is not shown actually a to a into equal number of parts and the end point of this particular higher length of the string uh, which is uh, given as compared to the circumference of the circle which is p now here what will be, what will be the change that is, this is the change we are going to divide pi d into a equal number of parts but the string length is more than that now after this one again here whatever the eight divisible points you are having 
you will go for drawing the tangent through 1, 2, 3, to 2, 3, 4, 5, as was well in earlier case. Same thing. And you have to divide this, you have to divide this pi d into only a d equal number of parts. Remaining part will be like this one, whatever is remaining one. As was well with our regular method. Then distance equal to 1 to p. Now you have to take the distance equal to 1 to p and not 1 to a. And mark on uh, a tangent which is passing through uh, 1, we will get p1 point. Take distance equal to 2 to p, mark on a tangent which is passing through 2. Take distance equal to 3 to p, mark on tangent which is passing through 3. So in this way you will get uh, p1, p2, p3, likewise p4, p5, p6, p7, p8. You have to get all these points in proper manner. Uh, now here, after getting p8, now you have to mark p8 along 8, uh, whatever the tangent which is passing through 8. Now whatever this remaining part is there, that you need to show it approximately here on this particular, because it is extra length of the string, which cannot be shown here, because it is extra length, so it should go uh, beyond whatever the 8 number point, or wherever it is ended in earlier case. So in this way, you have to go for, a particular problem of involute of a circle in which string length is more than circumference of a circle. I hope this is very clear to you as compared to the earlier problem. Now in the next problem, string length is less than the circumference of the circle. Now here also the same thing. If the diameter of the circle is 50 millimeter, the length of uh, circumference of the circle is 157 millimeter, but the string length is suppose 150 millimeter. The procedure is again similar. Draw a circle, divide it into eight equal number of parts, draw a tangent line, which is nothing but equal to pi d, that is nothing but 157 millimeter. Now, in this case, a slight change. The string length is less than the circumference of the circle. What is here in this case? It is 150 millimeter. So, from eight point, mark a point at a distance of 150 millimeter, which is nothing but p. Now here in this case, you have to divide this 157 millimeter again into 8 equal number of parts as usual in our case number 1. But the P point should be aligned between uh, division number 7 and 8 because it is having the less string length as compared to the circumference of the circle. Remaining procedure drawing the tangent through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is similar one. Now here from this one, you will get, take the distance equal to 1 to P in your compass. 1 will be centered, mark along the tangent drawn through 1, you will get P1 point. 2 to P will be the distance, mark along 2 to P. Uh, uh, tangent along 2, you will get P2. 3 to P will be the distance, mark along tangent through 3, you will get P3 point. 4 to P, 4 to P will be the distance, mark along tangent through 4 to, uh, tangent through 4, you will get P4 point. Mark, take distance equal to 5 to P, you will get a P5. 6 to P, you will get uh, P6, 7 to P, you will get this uh, this smaller distance, you will get this one and the curve will end here. It will not come here because it is having some slightly less distance, less than 7 millimeter as compared to the circumference of the circle and therefore the curve will not come up to here, it will be ending here. If it is of 140 millimeter, it may be ended here. So in this way, the string length is less than the circumference of the circle, then you need to take care of all these particular things. So try to remember these three things are very, very important. One, string length is equal to circumference of the circle. This is very, very important case. Most probably, this will be asked in final end semester examination. This is another case in which string length is more than circumference of the circle. And uh, the next one is string length is less than the circumference of the circle. So I hope this is very clear to you as far as this involute of a circle is considered one. This is very, very important uh, uh, engineering curve. The application of this one is again the similar era area that is nothing but uh, uh, gear, generating the gear to the involute gear to the profiles. So try to remember this one. I hope this is very clear with the help of these four slides that how to go for drawing the engineering curves. So these are again the same references I have used one, especially uh, this particular slide shared by Hirsch Patel, which is very, very important one because whatever this particular uh, uh, figures you are observing here that are taken from his uh, slide share uh, PPT. So thank you very much Hirsch sir for your uh, this particular PPT, which is uh, proving a very fruitful, very useful one. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.